Hey everyone, I want to show you how to make cute uh, toggle bars for your biz or your social media posts. And you might sometimes like to use toggle bars to do like uh, encourage people to have positive feelings like grateful, thankful, um, love, or um, like here I did a mock up of social media stats just showing people like where my stats might be on a better like on youtube it's a better platform than instagram than facebook than pinterest so i think you get the gist of it so they're super easy and quick and without further ado i'll get onto it so on a blank template just type l on your keyboard and a line appears and then you'll notice while the line's highlighted your toolbar will pop up so we'll go to this part which is weight and we click on it and we drag it right up to 100 and I'll just make it a little bit shorter and I'll just pop it up higher. So as you click off that, then type C on the keyboard for circle and just make it a bit smaller. And I think I'll make that my signature hot pink and I'll drag that onto the toggle bar, onto the bar. So it's just a bit big, so I'm just going to make it a tiny bit smaller and arrow it up. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is group the whole thing and go group and then I'm going to duplicate it three times. So each one sh technically should be grouped like the other one. Um, and then you group again the whole lot and go position and tidy up right at the very bottom. And so that puts it in a much a more even spaced line. So if you want to move that, you go ungroup and just drag the toggle, whoops, yeah. click on that and drag it to wherever you want. This one too, you, when it's highlighted, you just go ungroup again, click off and then drag here. And if you want, you can change the colors as well. So you might want to make that white or um, whatever you like. There's no hard and fast rules. The other thing I thought might be good is if you group them, you can just make them a bit smaller and drag them to the edge. And then if you want to, you can add text on the left if you need to. So I'll go text, which is way too big. So I'll make that 50. And um, I might just write um, uh, what love. And that's in capitals. So I'll pop that there. Now, if that's too big, just make it smaller. What you can do is just duplicate three. You can make one too many. And as you're dragging them down, you'll notice the three arrows, per purple lines, that are your sort of like strated um, rule guides. And then as you move it, it sort of gives you an idea. You might have to just arrow up. And so it gives you an idea of where the line should sit. The letter should sit rather against the line. Um, if not, you can maybe tidy them up. That might be an easier way. And then sort of just maybe have to arrow them. But that's, and then you can change that to um, joy and um, maybe make it left. And same sort of thing. You just got to play around with it or you can grab them and go position to the left, which is which they already are. So that gives you an idea. Now, if you want, you can do something even cooler. Um, I'm going to grab something like this image and I'll drag it over and so a photo can sit behind it. Now, obviously it's overpowering, so you can't see the toggle bars, but if you click on, click on the photo, Let's click on the photo, you'll notice that the transparency thing will pop up on the toolbar. Click on that and then just drag it down to where you think it might look like kind of nice. And then you can still group them all again. And if you want, just move it in the center and the purple uh, rule guides will pop up as well. So that's just another way of doing something a little bit different for your biz. Um, and be sure to customize like the the toggle bars. These might be a bit bright and gaudy, um, just so they fit in with your um, your palette for your business. So I hope that's helped and given you a few ideas. And most most.
thing is you just play around with it and um, use it for whatever you want.